is DDK and yes, I know you see the title, you see the thumbnail, baby. That's why you're here, ain't it? Yes, two thousand dollars for four hours. We're about to go out here and let this money shower. We do have order number Uno. We're trying to get our pockets fat like sumo. The pickup location is Lowe's. The app is freight. We're about to get this money and don't hate. We're picking up 13 items driving 0.7 miles for a hot 40 shorty. Let's go. And we are here at Lowe's to get this dough in. Uh, let's go. Here, let's go, baby. We ain't here to play no games. We're here to do our thing. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? I woke up this morning. I can't complain. Right. Some people are still gonna complain, but hey, well, some people didn't make it either, so you know. Very true. But we're here. I'm like, hey, I'm <laughs> glad to be here. What is the order number? 92 That's super sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and easy. Thank you very much. Yep. Let's keep us going on, baby. Nice and sweet. Nice and sweet. This straight super sweet. For the hot 40, shorty. And just like that, we gone. It's time for us to go out here and get it on. Let's go. And we are here just that quick. It's time for us to go out here and get this grip. We're trying to get a grip, G. So we're gonna ring this doorbell first before I... How you yeah, doing, sir? Uh, I have a gift for you from Lowe's. Yeah, uh, in the garage if you don't mind. Okay, no problem. problem. We got a nice day today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, it's, hopefully we get a lot more. We shall see. Till you get some remodeling done, huh? Oh yeah. Ah. Maybe you just put it somewhere. Oh, on that like side right, right there? The yellow box. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's 13, 13, pieces. Right 13 pieces. Yeah, 13 pieces. Thank you. Here. And then if you can sign. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, you just print, print your name right there and then sign. So you're doing a uh, living room job, it looks like? I'm doing all kinds of shit. Oh. I didn't press down. Oh, thank you very thank much, you much, sir. You have a good one. You too. Guess what, baby? The customer did hook us up with a dub. We went out there, hey, and I ain't never been a scrub, baby. We went out there and got busy. He gave us an extra $20 for that super easy order. It probably literally took all together 12 to 15 minutes. That's it. To make $60, we went out there to pop our collar. But we do have a load from the carrier company. We are going to drive 18 deadhead miles. 50 miles loaded, so 68 miles altogether for 200. I'm about to pull up and show you who run it. Now, this is the thing about this order. First off, it's three pallets. It's gonna weigh 842 pounds altogether. Secondly, we have to pick this up on Thursday and then drop it off Friday morning, baby. So that's why I charge them 200, but they came on with it, but it's time for us to go get digits. Let's go. And we are here at the pickup ski so we can get busy, you know what I'm talking about? Hopefully you got this joint ready. Usually when I come here, it takes a long time. Every time. Come on, he's trying to get on the grind. How you doing, boss? I have a load to pick up to go to Chicago. Oh, give me some, uh, there'll be some, just, okay. Hello. How you doing? I have a load to pick up to go to Chicago. Go down a little bit, down, down, right there. Y'all see what's going on. One strap, two strap, three straps. 
It's time for us to get to this money, no cap. Let's go. The next day. Guess what, baby? We are here at the drop off. It's time to knock their socks off. It is actually a construction site, so they're gonna bring the uh, the forklift out so we can get the money, not the clout. Let's go. Two thousand years later. I'm actually going in this joint, man. It's too. It didn't take it too long for me, baby. I'm being impatient right now. It's taking too long. I need to come on with it. I'm trying to get right. We got the fork truck right here, I think. I have three pallets to drop off to you guys. They said it's gonna call someone, but never, no one never came out. What company? Uh, for, it's for this company. He already looked at it. It's coming from Gray's Lake. I'm in a Sprinter van. You got three pallets. Three pallets. Yeah, three pallets. And I'm in a Sprinter van. I'm right on the on the side of the road. He told me to park right there. Finally. Finally. <laughs> How am I supposed to get those in there? I got a, uh, I got a, a puller. I got you, I got you. Don't, you in good hands like Allstate. <laughs> you in good hands. Pallet number one. <laughs> I got you, I got you. I got you, my guy. Pallet number two <coughs> It's out the way. I'm about to get the clap in the A Bay Bay. A Bay Bay! Sir. Yes, sir. You just sound right there. You need a copy? That's all, right. all right, I appreciate you boss. You guys have a good one. Order number three, it's time for us to pull up to Home Depot so we can get this cheese. We are picking up one item that weighs three pounds, baby. Let's hit that's all. We're driving 16 miles for 53.05. It's a great time to be alive, let's go. Guess what? We here now, you all knows. Got a couple Porsche trucks, a couple old school. We're here to get busy, baby. Shit, they got somebody up here. We got a dude up here, bro. He's not the one that usually do the things. So we're gonna see what happens, baby. What's going on? What are you doing today? I'm doing great, yourself. I woke up this morning, I can't do no complaining. <laughs> um, you ready for me? Yes. H84 31 17 1000. It says a kick molding, so it's it's like only three pounds. So it's something fairly light. Yep, that's it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, nice and easy. All righty, thank you very much. You have a good one. You Just like that, we are here at the drop-off location for those who hate me, go keep on skating. This is a beautiful house, man. I really like this joint. I'm gonna sit it right here on the side. Okay. Then we gotta step back and look at the photo. Y'all don't know. Smack. We gone. Let's go ahead and get into the combo, baby. Why am I talking about four hours of work for $2,000? I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything to you guys right now. We had a customer reach out to us and they wanted us to move some patio furniture for them. They said they had this. A Traeger smoker. For those of you who know what a smoker is, this joint is gonna be extremely heavy. It actually gonna weigh 300 pounds, somewhere around the area. And not to mention, it's on a patio, so it's up like some stairs. So it's gonna be that, it's gonna be four picnic chairs, it's gonna be four larger wicker patio chairs, it's gonna be four patio chairs, it's gonna be one patio table with the umbrella, is going to be a fire table and the fire table actually has glass on it so you got to be very careful with that then we have a propane patio heater a cooler and then last but not least a trampoline now that is not what we're going to do for four hours for two thousand dollars but we got all those items and the trampoline we're actually going to have to take that apart 
to move it. So we had the van and the customer had a, a trailer from U-Haul that we were gonna use. So we told them this. Again, I told you guys that it's a patio. So, well, a balcony. So it's, you have to go up some stairs to get some of the items and some of the, uh, and some of the other items are down low. We told them that we're gonna charge them $350 for this. Now, some may say that's a lot, some may say that's too little. Now, the reason we're charging them $350 is because my, my, my business partner can't be moving all this extra heavy stuff. I told you guys before that the, um, the, the smoker is like 300 pounds. So I'm gonna have to call my guy up like, yo, we got this uh, move we gotta do, right? 175 for you, 175 for me. This move, I think that probably would've took us about, oh, I forgot to mention, the uh, pickup and drop off location are 12 miles away from each other, so it's not far at all. I think that we could do this in like 35, 45 minutes. That's how, that's how fast we could do it. We're gonna get the stuff, we're gonna load it up in the van, and we're gonna go out there and get them vans. But, after talking a little bit more, they actually, well, so the wife told us about all this stuff. The husband actually was the one who wanted to hire, hire us and everything, and, I guess she didn't understand all the stuff that he wanted us to do, but he did reach out to us and let us know, okay, we thought about that stuff, but how much would you guys charge us for four hours of work? And me personally, I'm just gonna tell you guys the truth. First of all, I'm gonna say this. Do not be afraid to charge how much you wanna charge to these customers. I understand that you, you know, you don't use your emotion in business. It is what it is. If they want to pay the money, they're going to pay it. If they don't want to pay the money, they're not going to pay it. So we told them for four hours of work, we're going to charge them $2,000 for four hours of work. Now, I know a lot of people may say, why would you bother somebody pay $2,000? That's wait. I understand what you're saying, but you're using your emotion. That's the reason why you're thinking like that. This is how I'm thinking about it. Me and my business partner talked about it. And this is how we think about it, right? The reason we came up with $2,000 was because we don't know what we're gonna be doing in this four hours of work. We could possibly be moving a whole entire house. And not to mention, uh, we did do a one move before in the van. My guy was moving from one place to another. It was like, I think it was probably like one and a half, two miles away, right? And it was critical. I'm talking about critical. And it was one, two, three, four, five. It was like five or six of us, and that was critical. And it still took us a while to do it. So we told them, $2,000 for four hours because we don't know everything that's going to include and how many trips are we going to have to take from the house from the, the pickup house to drop off house and back to the pickup that's 24 miles back and forth one way so one way to drop it off and then come back to go to the house again that's 24 miles we need to compensate that for gas and all that stuff and we got to pay another guy so uh, we came up with two thousand dollars for four hours i know it sounds like it's steep and all that stuff but it just is what it is. And to be completely honest with you guys, I really don't even want to do it anyway because I don't like moving. That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't what I want to do. But if you are going, if I am going to move, I'm definitely going to be paid well to do it. That's it. That's all. So they end up canceling and saying that they don't want to do it no more. I understand. I get their end. They need to get our end. What you don't want to do is I know that you will did this. You're going to tweak. You're going to go in there and tweak. You're going to tell them. Yeah, we can do it for like 500, 600, 700. And then you're going to go there and it's going to be a full house. And then what you're going to do? You're going to wish that you charge them more later. So why not try to charge them more now? I need you guys to comment below and let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think I'm out of control for charging 2000 What do you think, baby? Comment below and let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And before we go, make sure you like the video. And if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comments section if you're a part of the crew. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you lock in tomorrow. It's going back down. We ain't playing around. The 2023 is still big bang season. We don't keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.